Hi guys, so to start I have my wooden ring. You can use any size or material ring that you have. You can use metal, anything that's on hand. I have my five millimeter uh, braided cord. I have it folded exactly in half. And I'm gonna place the center point behind my ring. I'm gonna pull that side through so it's on top. And the one over here is behind. And how we're gonna make these knots is we're gonna make a little loop like that. We'll take the other cord, place it over top of the two here. We're gonna go behind the loop, or behind the ring, I should say, and come through this loop. First one. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're always going to be working from the same side. So I'm making that little loop that comes over. We're taking the one on the right, placing it over those two behind the ring and come up through that loop. Now we're just going to repeat the same knot all the way around. Now that we've come all the way around to the end, I'm going to finish it off. You can do this a couple ways. You can tie it like this, tie this really tight, um, and then tie it up and have that as the hanger. I don't really like the look of this thick cord as the hanger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this one coming out of the front a little bit longer because I'm gonna glue it over like this so it looks more uniform and then this one coming out of more towards the back, I'm gonna trim it right down and just glue that into place so that it doesn't come undone. And you can do this with a glue gun, fabric glue, whichever that you have. So I will just secure that little knot there. There we go. And now I'm gonna put some glue there. that over top like that. Once the glue has dried, I'm just going to take a piece of my jute twine. This is about 16, 18 inches long. I'm going to find that place where we ended, so it'll be right in between those two. I'm going to squish it in there. So see it looks nice and uniform. And now I'm just going to tie a double knot, just a regular double knot. One. Two. And now I'll just knot up the other end. Now I've already tied my bow because they take me about 10 minutes to get it even decent looking because I'm terrible at tying them. I did this with about 14 inches of ribbon. I just tied a regular knot and then adjusted it a whole bunch. Um, a little secret is that you can buy these at the dollar store or basically craft stores. Lots of places have them already pre-made and I'm just going to 
glue that right on there. So there's our first little wreath. For our next wreath, what I've done is I've just taped it, uh, my cords into place so that they're easier, it's easier to um, make these knots on here without it all moving around. So I've just left a few inches up that way. I'm gonna take my first cord and we're just doing simple half hitch knots. So we're going over top of the ring and we're pulling it through. So just like that, we're gonna hold that into place there. And now I'm gonna take my white cord and I'm going to go over this one and we're gonna go over the ring, behind, just like that. So it should make a little loop and pull it through. And just tug that one into place. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna leave that there. We'll take the next one over top so we're gonna go over the white cord and over the ring. Okay, so it should go like that. And then we're just pulling it behind that ring. Thank you. 